Reggie Simmons here, Body Fuse athlete and men's physique competitor. And I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my plateau busting workout video. In this video, I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking with you about ways to break through your physical plateaus in the gym. When it comes to plateaus, the question isn't if a plateau will occur, because for many people, plateaus are inevitable. The real question is, how quickly can you break out of that plateau so that you can continue along your journey to fitness? Generally speaking, a plateau will occur when your body stops responding to your current diet and or level of exercise. The human body is actually a wonderful machine in that it adapts to challenges that it's presented with, and it adapts relatively quickly. So it's a good idea to change your exercise routine every six to eight weeks. That way, you keep your body guessing, you keep it off balance, but more importantly, you keep making the gains and improvements that you want in your physique. There are actually several techniques that you can employ to break through a plateau. The first approach that readily comes to mind is heavyweight versus lightweight. If you typically train with heavy weights using a relatively low number of reps, let's just say 10, you can switch things up by lifting with lighter weights for more repetitions, maybe 15 to 20 reps. And of course, the opposite is true. If you train with light weights for a lot of reps, you can heavy things up and actually go for fewer reps. Again, the goal here is to stimulate the muscle fibers in a slightly different way than what they're accustomed to. Another technique that comes to mind is slowing up your rep tempo. What I mean by that is that if you normally train with a one-to-one -one ratio, so one second on the positive, one second on the negative, you can change it to slow up the tempo to a 2-3 or even a 3-3 three, three tempo. And what that means is that you take three seconds to raise the weight to its highest position and then another three seconds to lower it to its lowest position. This actually increases the time under tension that the muscle is placed and again, stimulates the muscle fibers in a different way than how you typically train. Next, I want to talk a little bit about cardio, because believe it or not, not all cardio is the same. There's actually a huge body of evidence out there that suggests that HIT or interval cardio is more effective for burning body fat in a shorter amount of time than steady state cardio. What that means is if you are accustomed to getting on your treadmill, your elliptical or your bike and just doing 60 minutes of cardio, you might benefit from adding a little high intensity training to your weekly cardiovascular routine. In addition to the techniques I've already mentioned, I want to mention a few more that can actually help you break through those plateaus when you encounter them. The first tip that I'll offer is to perform those exercises that you hate the most. The fact is, the body grows when it's challenged and when it's presented with challenges that it's never encountered before. And sometimes that's going to require that you do exercises, you do movements that you don't really like. But trust me when I tell you that your body will actually respond and grow as a result of you engaging in those activities. You can also try speeding up the tempo of your workout. I see people in the gym that take five or six minute breaks in between reps and also between exercises. And one of the tips that I typically offer is to shorten those rest breaks to maybe 30 or 60 seconds. Another thing you can do is to change things up. If you always train biceps before triceps, flip it and train triceps first and then your biceps. If you always train chest on Mondays and then back on Tuesday, maybe you flip it and train back on Monday and chest on Tuesday. Again, sometimes it's small changes that you can make to your exercise routine that will have huge impacts on your physique. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it.